the, let's talk about one issue, just the general concept of a short TV spot, whether it's going to be on the, on the web or on, on a broadcast news show. One of the things that's really interesting to me about working in, for the web thing is that our website, msnbc.com, as I just said, uh, is really interested in video. I mean, they, they, they want video. I, I'd love to write more because my background was as a writer you know, when I started out, and I'm, I'm not the greatest person on television in terms of my uh, anchoring ability. I can never be a TV anchor or anything like that. And so I, but they don't want that. They just want video, 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 video. People, as, as broadband with increases, video becomes very important. But so that's one thing to think about. So this kind of short piece, it, if it may or may not appear on the nightly news, is going to be uh, a staple of information for a while. Because people's uh, attention span when they're watching something on an iPad or a, a, a computer is not, that long, is not that long. So you're not going to get the two-minute two format is with us to stay, I think, unfortunately, for a long time. Uh, and I know a lot of you want to be documentary filmmakers, and that's great. And those things have their place. But this, this, so does this, and it's going to stay. Now, when you think about a, a two-minute piece like that, what you're doing is you're making it a two-minute documentary. You're casting a movie. And it's very important that we know before we get there with a the camera crew that what, who's going to be talking. And you, you cast it almost. Uh, I, when, you, when you do a TV spot, you don't want surprises. I mean, it's wonderful if you have a surprise that's, that's a compelling moment and you're rolling with a lot of cameras or even with one camera. But for the most part, if you're just reporting something like this, like a study, you want to have the most compelling uh, characters and the, the best talking doctors because a lot of people who are practice good research medicine can't speak English. Uh, and I don't mean this is because they're foreigners. I mean because they, they just... They, they're not they, articulate. They're, they're not, not articulate. articulate. Yeah. Uh, that's what the word I was looking for, uh, inarticulately. Uh, so we, we, we find these people. And that guy was a great character. He was uh, just a sensationally obvious. He had a beautiful family. The guy was going to die. He's going to live. You know, the, the, the doctor was terrific, talking about the, the 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 waiting rooms emptying out. And so, when we before we got there, we knew that because I had phone conversations with these people, I knew that what, what we were going to get, and it came together very well. So I now some people would say that the twenty or thirty percent thing should have been higher in the piece and the and the side effects, and maybe that's true because yeah, we redid the piece on Monday because there's an idea that if you do a piece on the weekend, it, hmm. a lot of people don't watch it. So we, we did redo it with this idea. And, but, the, but in cancer treatments, almost every cancer treatment that's come along recently has worked in you know, 20 or 30% as a high percentage. Mm -hmm. Most of them are working in 5% 5, 5 or something like that, and that's how progress is being made in cancer. So that's a difficult thing. So I'm going to stop right there and say, are there any questions? Well, I, I want to ask, but to use this as an example, because it's a study story. It's a thing that we all see a lot of. In terms of the competition for space, for a slot, how far, how far back are you pitching this to your structure, to your managing editor? And how, are you, how much of it is the, is the weight of the medical finding itself, and how much it, of it is the weight of the wonderful casting of the movie that you're able to make. Well, it, it, I hope it's much more of the of the information. Although we're going to see a piece in a minute that, that does not is not breaking news. The next piece is mm -hmm. not for that reason because I wanted to make sure. uh, make another point. But the if there's two ways that I find out this, about a story. Either it comes in a journal, which comes three or four days before it's published, as you know, from being a science journalist, or somebody tells me about it. Now, somebody telling me about it is not insignificant because if you work in the field for a while, you, you get out there and you talk to people, and, and, and this is an you know, advantage you don't have when you're starting out, but people will say, look, I, we can't talk about it too much, but you know, watch, look out for this big melanoma thing that's coming in a few, in a few weeks. And this, will have been, and this drug, which will be approved in a few months, uh, was, you know, there's the phase one studies that look good, and there's the phase two studies that look good. So in the community of oncologists, Everybody is talking about this for a while and looking forward to these results. So it was not that hard. And, and so I sold that much more to the, the producers, is what they're called, the people mm -hmm. that I work for, on the basis of the, of the importance of the information. Because this really was a, this was, advanced melanoma had been totally intractable with treatment before this. So the, this 20 to 30% is, is an amazing uh, 
uh, climbing. Now, we use, and I hope this gets drilled into you people all the time, you students, uh, military metaphors all the time, advances and breakthroughs, and, and the, the, the ultimate cliches of uh, science journalism, I'd like to get away from I, I try not to use it myself, but they're always in there.